Hey guys, coming up in this video, we're going to be looking at this 200 amp hour 12 volt battery by Golden Mate. So this is a budget lithium iron phosphate battery. The price of this battery as of filming this video is $620. So this might be a great budget battery for somebody looking for something that's going to last a long time and that is relatively cheap. So on this battery here, we have a recommended charge current of 40 amps and we also have a continuous charging current of 100 amps. This battery has 120 amps maximum discharge. So you need to keep that in mind if you're planning on purchasing this battery. You can only do just above 1500 watts of discharge. So if you're looking to run, let's say a space heater or a cooktop on full blast, you will not be able to run anything else while you are doing that. Typically, when you get a 200 amp hour battery, you're gonna see like a 200 amp discharge on them, but this one here does 120 amps. So just keep that in mind if you're planning on using this in an RV or camper. So we have a typical case. Actually, let's get those measurements for you right now, if I can find my measuring tape. Okay, and our height, and the height of the battery is about eight and a half inches. Our depth is 19 and three quarters, and our width is nine and a quarter. A little bit bigger than typical, but not very much. Uh, we have here charging of 0 to plus 50 and discharging minus 20 to uh, plus 60. So we're going to see if this battery has low temperature protection. I don't recall seeing it in the user manual. Uh, we can also series these batteries up to make a 48 volt pack. That's about all the information I have on this battery. So let's do a discharge on this battery and see if we can pull full capacity. Okay, so it looks like we're discharging now at 42.85-ish uh, amps, so that's close enough to a 0.2C discharge rate. Now I'm going to let this run, it's going to take about 5 hours and I'll be back at that point with the results. Okay, and the test results are in. We have 200.618 amp hours out of a 200 amp hour battery. So we have passed this capacity test. Alright, now it's going to be time to open this up and see why it is so inexpensive. Maybe they're lacking on something. We'll have to open it up to find out. Oh, I think I found the reason. I figured out how they're about $100 less than the competition. So we just have a bolt, a washer, and a split washer. Unlike the competition that has a Phillips head, a hex head, and the washer and the split washer is kind of locked in with the bolt. You can't separate them. That's why they're $100 cheaper than the competition. They changed the bolt design. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's open it up and see. So something else to mention too. We have some really big lugs on here uh, for attaching uh, some large lugs. But I mean, you don't really have to attach large lugs because we're only doing 120 amps maximum discharge. So you're not going to need that big of a conductor on there. So it's kind of a mute point to have rather large conductors, but they're there regardless. Maybe if you want to put multiple batteries in parallel or something, then you've got the bigger lugs. Okay, enough chatting. Let's get it to opening. Okay, these batteries seem to be getting harder and harder to open. But I think I got it enough that I can crack it open. Okay. Wow, that is uh, a lot of wire. Okay, and we can see we have a rather big bundle of wires here. So you can see on the post, we, it's covered and it's glued, so I'm not even gonna attempt to remove that. And that is the same on the positive post. It is capped and then glued, so that's not coming. How many of these wires do we have? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight number 12 wire. I'm gonna put, uh, if we have all eight as a single conductor, on the screen I'm gonna put what the thickness is. So the equivalent of this many 12 gauge wires. Let's see on the positive it's the same. That is odd. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12. So 12, number 12, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so we have 12. We, okay, we have eight number 12 conductors. And these aren't 12 gauge. What is this? I can't see what gauge wire the positive side is, but there's 12 of them. And then there's eight 12 gauge. You can see here, we have two 12 gauge per um, screw in on the BMS. And then we have three 14 gauge. So 14, 14, 14, and 14 pairs of three. And we can see on the BMS, we have our balance lead cables here and what looks to be two temperature sensors coming out. So I'll have to test those. They come out. There's one here. Oh, there we go. Temperature sensor. And a second one over here. I'm actually gonna, I don't see, yeah, I don't see any glue in the bottom. So this might be easy to get out. Yeah, might not be too bad trying to get this out. Work it, work it, and work it side to side. There we go. That was actually rather simple. Well, you can see, but we actually do have a sticky piece of neoprene and looks to be some of the insulator from the cells. Yeah, so we can see here on the bottom of the cell um, some of these insulated wraps have come off. Uh, in case you don't know, these are cylindrical cells. These are the chemistry of lithium iron phosphate. These are not NMC, these are lithium iron phosphate cylindrical cells. So I mean, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with cylindrical cells. I don't know how deep I wanna go. You know what, let's, um, let's test this cold temperature sensor probe and I can easily put it back in there after. So if this battery works, the cold temperature sensor, and this pulled full capacity, this is gonna be a great budget battery with low temperature protection. So we may have a pretty good winner here for a budget battery. Oh, I have it set for a 24 volt battery. Duh, let me bring these down, okay. All right, we are charging with uh, almost five amps. Let's stick the temperature probe in here. Give it a few minutes. Oh, and there we go. That was actually rather quick. So I'm not sure if you've seen that. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so we're charging. Let's stick this in the ice pack. And charging disabled. Let's, uh, I'm gonna pull out the other one, not lose my bench power supply. Okay, I have the second probe here. Let's see, oh, a positive fell off. Okay. Now the second temperature sensor. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and there we go. Okay, so both temperature sensors work and they work independently. Okay, let's try uh, over temperature protection. And there you go. Wow. We have a budget battery for about $100 less than the competition on the market. This is going for $620 on Amazon. And we have low and high temperature protection. We pulled full capacity. They're using cylindrical cells, which is decent. I've had a few cylindrical cell batteries and I haven't had any problems with them. I mean, if you remember the must start battery back a while ago, that was uh, under the full capacity by about 20 amp hours. But this one pulled the full 200 amp hour capacity. So really cool. So I'm gonna remove this before we have an accident with it. So I'm gonna say that this battery is a pass. I mean, for a budget 200 amp hour battery with low and high temperature protection. So my review of this battery is it's a pass. Um, it's not as pretty as some of the other ones we've seen come on this channel, but as far as usability and 
overall capacity and price, this is going to be a good recommendation by me. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this review of the Golden Mate 200 amp hour 12 volt battery. So if you like this video and you want to see more of this content, subscribe and like it really helps the channel and I can bring you more stuff coming up in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.